Welcome to this tutorial to build a simple pendulum model in mobile multi-body dynamics. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to generate the same animation that you see on the screen right now. Start by tapping the Create button. Give a name to your model. And provide a description of what the model does. For a pendulum, we will define gravity. The uniform setting for gravity method applies a uniform acceleration in a single direction. We'll use the value 9.8 corresponding to standard gravitational uh, acceleration in the metric system and apply it in a minus y direction. Specify that our simulation will run for a total of 5 seconds and make the tolerance smaller to make our animation a little bit smoother. We'll start by saving our model so that we can come back to it later. And next, we'll again begin building the kinematics for the model using our classic interface. First, we'll create a parameter for the length of the pendulum. Next, we will create a generalized coordinate corresponding to the angle of the pendulum relative to the horizontal. Create a new frame corresponding to the angular rotation and using the created generalized coordinate. We see this in the diagram view as the second rotated frame. And create a vector representing a rigid beam that will connect from the origin of the model to where we place our mass. Finally, add a new point, which will connect from the origin to the vector r, which we previously defined. On our diagram now, we see the blue sphere corresponding to our created point. Following on, we will import the model that we previously saved, and we will do the same thing using our joints interface. Navigate to the joints tab and tap the plus under the revolute joint. Here we will simply create the angle value of 1, and very much similar to what we previously did by creating a generalized coordinate and frame, we did all in one step. Create a rigid translation similar to the vector and point that were previously defined. As you see, in two quick steps, we have wound up in the same configuration as we defined using the classic interface. To model our dynamics, first we will add a mass to the created point. This has now completely defined our pendulum. And if we tap the button in the lower left, then we can derive the equations of motion. A second tap will allow us to simulate and with a third tap, we can animate the motion of the pendulum. Export now to create tabular data as well as plots of your simulation. View the report tab to see text describing the model as well as the equation of motion and the plots. Here we see a plot of the angle as a function of time and the angular rate. Thank you for joining us for this tutorial. We hope that it helped you learn the basic functionality of the app and it will inspire you to build your own models in the future.